Hello everyone. Welcome to the next class on the probability and stat. In this class, we will see how you can define the MGF of the Elang distribution. What is the PDF of the Elang distribution? As we discuss here, there are the two unknown parameters. One is the K, and second is the mu, which is defined like here. What is the K? Is K is nothing but the shape parameter, and it must have a positive integer. On the other hand, mu is called as the scale parameter, which is a real number so you must remember that the scale is a uh, real parameter shape is a positive integer on the other hand if you define like this way if you define if you take the reciprocal of this scale parameter we will call as the rate parameter denoted as a lambda and it is defined here so if you substitute the value of mu here and here you will get the second form of this uh, pdf which is defined like here now based on this pdf we will define the moment generating function what is the definition of the moment generating function is e raised to power tx of f of x so now what is the f of x is my this is the pdf of the distribution so that's depending upon you whether you want to use this or here so i try to solve this mgf for this distribution you can easily solve uh, here by the similar manner else we can simply replace mu as a 1 by lambda in the given expression i have taken the pdf as this we can substitute the value we will get here you can see this is a integration with respect to x so that part is constant it can be taken outside and here now in order to integrate this i can substitute this value as say y and we can compute that d of y is my here so whenever x approach x is 0 and x is infinity what is the limit of the y that is nothing but my 0 to infinity so you can substitute all these values in here we will get the expression of this you can see that this part this is 1 by this minus of here raised to power k minus 1 and one part is here this is this so this will be cancel out it is a k and it is independent of the y so it can be taken outside of this integration now what is that you do you remember that what is that point component is that is a gamma function of the k and i can solve this expression we will get this pair also what is the k is k is nothing but my positive integers and all of us know that what will happen if k is my positive integer then gamma function of the positive integer is nothing but my k minus 1 factorial you can see that now you can cancel out this will be cancel out this is cancel out what is that this is nothing but my 1 minus of this so this is the moment generating function of the elang distribution based on this moment generating function we can define the mean and variance of there So what is the target is that based on this moment generating function we can define the mean and the variance how you can define that that's again a very simple you can start from the ex or ex square what is the relation between the ex and the moment generating function that is here you can take the first derivative of this function what will happen you can take the second derivative of this function that is the e of x square now once you will take the uh, first and second derivative then you can compute at the point t is equal to 0 what will happen at t is 0 this will be 0 so it is only 1 this is again 0 so it will be the mu square and so on so it will be like here you can substitute this value here and here you will get the expression of mean and the variance so what is the conclusion is you also uh, based on this mean and variance or moment generating function you can define the cumulative generating function which is generally denoted as of the k of x which is defined as logarithm of this moment generating function you can substitute the value of the moment generating function you will get here you can expand the value of the log of 1 minus x this is nothing but me minus of x minus of x square by 2 factorial minus x cube by 3 factorial and so on so if you take it as minus common that minus will be cancel out this is the expression now based on this cumulative here you can also define the mean and the variance mean is nothing but my t raised to power 1 upon 1 factorial Uh, variance is nothing but that t square upon 2 factorial so you can see what is the coefficient of this this is nothing but the k mu this is nothing but k mu what is the coefficient of that t square is mu square of k that is nothing but k mu square and you can see this the mean and the variance is same as that of uh, moment generating function through based on this mean and variance what is the summary behind that if you taken as a pdf of this then we can define the mean and variance are here but if you want to start with the second form of this what is the second form is you can replace this shape parameter to be the rate parameter then your pdf will be here and you can easily derive as of mean is nothing but k by lambda because mu is nothing but here 
based on this mean and variances you can also find the relation between them if you divide them what will happen that is nothing but variance is mu times mean so based on this value of the mu whether it's a less than greater than or uh, whether it's a less than greater than or equality you can define the relation between them also if you def on this this second form you can define the uh, ratio you can see again with respect to the parameter this you can define this relation as here so this is all about the moment genetic functions and its mean and variance we will see in our next class how you can find the characteristics functions and the other properties of this distribution till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck